Have you ever felt like life was spinning out of control? Like everything was falling apart and you didn't know how to make it stop? If you've experienced these feelings, you're not alone. Many of us face times when we feel overwhelmed, lost, or unsure about the future. But what if there was a way to find peace and stability, even in the midst of chaos? What if you could trust that no matter what happens, everything will be okay? This is where the wisdom of Louise Hay comes in. Louise Hay was a remarkable woman who left an indelible mark on the world of self-help and positive thinking. Her teachings have touched millions of lives, offering hope and guidance to those seeking a better way to live. Today, we're going to explore one of her most powerful ideas, the concept of trust. Louise Hay wasn't always a beacon of positivity. She faced many challenges in her life, including childhood abuse, divorce, and cancer. But through these experiences, she discovered something incredible, the power of trust. She learned that by trusting in life's process, even when things seem darkest, we can find our way to a brighter tomorrow. So what exactly did Louise Hay mean when she said to trust that everything's going to be okay? It's not about blind optimism or ignoring problems. Instead, it's about developing a deep, unshakable belief that life is working for you, not against you. It's about understanding that every experience, good or bad, has something to teach us. Let's dive deeper into Louise Hay's core beliefs. She firmly believed that everything happens for a reason. This doesn't mean that bad things are meant to happen to us. Rather, it suggests that every event in our lives has the potential to lead us towards growth and understanding. When we face challenges, we have the opportunity to learn, to become stronger, and to discover new aspects of ourselves. Louise Hay also taught that every experience is a learning opportunity. This perspective can radically change how we view the difficulties in our lives. Instead of seeing problems as insurmountable obstacles, we can start to see them as chances to develop new skills, gain new insights, or strengthen our character. The power of trust goes beyond just feeling better about our circumstances. It can actually change our outlook on life. When we trust that things will work out, we're more likely to take positive actions, to persist in the face of setbacks, and to maintain hope even in difficult times. This positive outlook can have a profound impact on our mental and physical health. Speaking of health, Louise Hay was a pioneer in exploring the mind-body connection. She believed that our thoughts and beliefs could significantly affect our physical well-being. While this idea was controversial when she first proposed it, modern science has since found numerous links between mental attitudes and physical health. Louise Hay suggested that by cultivating positive thoughts, we could support our body's natural healing processes. This doesn't mean that positive thinking alone can cure all illnesses, but it does highlight the importance of maintaining a hopeful and trusting attitude, even when dealing with health challenges. So how can we start to build this kind of trust in our own lives? Louise Hay recommended the use of affirmations, positive statements that we repeat to ourselves to reinforce beneficial beliefs. These aren't just empty words, they're tools for reshaping our thought patterns and by extension, our experiences of life. When it comes to building trust, we might use affirmations like, I trust in the process of life. I am safe and all is well. Every experience in my life is an opportunity for growth. The key is to find affirmations that resonate with you personally, 
and to repeat them regularly, especially when you're feeling doubtful or afraid. Of course, trust isn't built overnight. It's a skill that we develop over time through consistent practice. There are many practical steps we can take to strengthen our ability to trust. One powerful practice is gratitude. By regularly acknowledging the good things in our lives, we train our minds to notice the positive, making it easier to trust that good things will continue to come our way. Another helpful practice is mindfulness. By learning to stay present in the moment, rather than worrying about the future or dwelling on the past, we can develop a greater sense of peace and trust in the flow of life. This doesn't mean we never plan for the future, but it does mean we don't let anxiety about what might happen rob us of our present peace. Developing trust in ourselves and in life has a ripple effect that extends far beyond our personal experience. When we trust ourselves, we're more likely to take risks, to pursue our dreams, and to live authentically. This self-trust is often visible to others, inspiring them to trust us in return. As a result, our relationships tend to improve, becoming more open, honest, and supportive. This ripple effect can extend even further into our communities. When we trust in the basic goodness of life, we're more likely to approach others with openness and kindness. We're more likely to give people the benefit of the doubt, to forgive mistakes, and to work together for the common good. In this way, our personal trust can contribute to building stronger, more cohesive communities. One of the biggest obstacles to trust is our desire for control. Many of us believe that if we could just control everything in our lives, we'd be safe and happy. But Louise Hay taught that this approach actually leads to more stress and unhappiness. The truth is, we can't control everything. Life is inherently unpredictable, and trying to force it into our preferred mold only leads to frustration. Instead, Louise Hay encouraged us to let go of our need for control and to trust in life's flow. This doesn't mean becoming passive or fatalistic. We still take action, make plans, and work towards our goals. But we do so with an attitude of flexibility and openness, trusting that even if things don't go exactly as we'd planned, we'll be able to adapt and grow. This attitude of trust opens up incredible possibilities for personal growth. When we trust that everything will be okay, we're more willing to step out of our comfort zones. We're more likely to try new things, to take on challenges, and to pursue our dreams. Even if we fail, we trust that we'll learn from the experience and come out stronger on the other side. Of course, Trusting doesn't mean we'll never face setbacks or disappointments. Life will always have its ups and downs, but Louise Hay taught that we can approach these difficulties with a spirit of trust and resilience. When things don't go as we'd hoped, we can choose to see these setbacks as temporary and as opportunities for learning and growth. Louise Hay's approach to handling disappointments was grounded in self-compassion and trust. She encouraged people to acknowledge their feelings of disappointment or frustration, but not to dwell on them. Instead, she suggested looking for the lesson or the opportunity in every situation. What can we learn from this experience? How can it help us grow stronger or wiser? By maintaining our trust, even in the face of setbacks, we develop an incredible resilience. We learn that we can handle whatever life throws our way. This doesn't mean we won't feel pain or sadness, but it does mean that we trust in our ability to move through these difficult emotions and come out the other side. It's worth noting that the benefits of trust aren't just spiritual or emotional. They're also backed by science. 
Research has shown that people who maintain a positive, trusting outlook tend to have lower stress levels, better cardiovascular health, and stronger immune systems. They're also more likely to engage in healthy behaviors and to have supportive social networks. Studies have found that optimistic people, those who trust that good things will happen, tend to live longer and have a lower risk of chronic diseases. This doesn't mean that trust alone can prevent all health problems, but it does suggest that our mental attitude can have a significant impact on our physical well-being. The science behind trust also extends to our brains. When we trust, our brains release oxytocin, often called the bonding hormone. This chemical not only helps us feel more connected to others, but it also reduces stress and anxiety. In other words, trust doesn't just feel good. It's actually good for our brains and bodies. As we wrap up our exploration of Louise Hay's teachings on trust, let's recap some key points. First, trust is not about ignoring problems or pretending everything is perfect. It's about maintaining a positive outlook and believing in our ability to handle whatever comes our way. Second, trust is a skill that we can develop through practices like affirmations, gratitude, and mindfulness. Third, trusting in life's process can lead to greater personal growth, improved relationships, and even better physical health. Remember, building trust is a journey, not a destination. There will be times when trust comes easily and times when it feels impossibly hard. But with practice and persistence, we can cultivate a deeper sense of trust that will support us through life's ups and downs. Louise Hay's message, that we can trust that everything will be okay, is not a call to passivity. It's an invitation to engage with life fully, to learn from every experience, and to believe in our own resilience and strength. It's about finding peace in the present moment while maintaining hope for the future. So the next time you feel like life is spinning out of control, remember Louise Hay's wisdom. Take a deep breath. Remind yourself that you've made it through difficult times before and trust that you have the strength to handle whatever comes your way. Trust that even if things aren't okay right now, they will be okay eventually. Trust in the process of life in your own resilience, and in the possibility of growth and positive change. This trust won't make all your problems disappear, but it will give you the strength and peace of mind to face them. It will help you see opportunities where you once saw only obstacles. It will open your heart to the beauty and potential in each moment, even the challenging ones. As you move forward from here, Consider how you might incorporate more trust into your daily life. Perhaps you could start each day with a positive affirmation or end each day by noting three things you're grateful for. Maybe you could practice staying present in the moment, trusting that whatever you need to handle the future will be there when you need it. Remember, building trust is a personal journey. What works for one person might not work for another. Be patient with yourself as you explore different ways to cultivate trust in your life. Celebrate small victories and don't be discouraged by setbacks. Each step forward, no matter how small, is progress. Trust is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. Start small perhaps by trusting in your ability to handle minor inconveniences. As your trust grows stronger, you may find yourself able to maintain a positive outlook even in more challenging situations. It's also important to surround yourself with supportive people who encourage your growth and share your commitment to trust and positivity. Seek out communities, whether online or in person, 
where you can share your experiences and learn from others who are on a similar journey. Remember that trusting doesn't mean you'll never feel fear or doubt. These emotions are a normal part of the human experience. The goal is not to eliminate these feelings, but to learn to move forward despite them, trusting in your ability to handle whatever comes. As you continue on your journey of trust, be open to the lessons that life presents. Every experience, whether positive or negative, has something to teach us. By approaching life with curiosity and openness, we can find value and meaning in even the most challenging circumstances. Louise Hay's teachings remind us that we have the power to shape our experiences through our thoughts and beliefs. By choosing to trust that everything will be okay, we open ourselves up to a life of greater peace, joy, and fulfillment. We become more resilient in the face of challenges, more open to new opportunities, and more connected to the people around us. So take a moment right now to connect with that sense of trust within you. Feel the peace that comes from knowing that no matter what happens, you have the strength to handle it. Trust that everything is working out for your highest good, even if you can't see how right now. Trust in the incredible potential for growth and positive change that exists within you and all around you. As you move forward from this video, carry this trust with you. Let it guide your actions, inform your decisions, and color your perception of the world around you. Trust that you are exactly where you need to be right now and that every step you take is leading you towards growth and fulfillment. Remember, in the words of Louise Hay, no matter what happens, everything's going to be okay. Not because life will always be easy, but because you have the strength, resilience, and inner wisdom to navigate whatever comes your way. Trust in yourself, trust in the process of life, and watch as new possibilities unfold before you. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Louise Hay's powerful message of trust. May it inspire you to approach life with greater confidence, peace, and positivity. Remember, you have the power to shape your reality through your thoughts and beliefs. Choose trust, choose positivity, and trust that everything will indeed be okay.